Hello everyone, this is a short video from RunAI about hyperparameters optimization. So this is RunAI user interface and we're going to submit a new job. So let's click here on the jobs tab and then here on the new job button. So this is the place we create a new job from the user interface of RunAI. We need to select the project that we're going to use. You can see here that I already created a template for HBO job with all the predefined fields that we need for this job. So I click on the HBO. I'm going to use amount of one GPU for each one of the containers. Let's give a name for the job. This is the image that I'm going to use. The image contains a startup script that selects a set of hyperparameters and then use them. So we can take a quick look about this image. You can see here, this is Bay TensorFlow. I'm going to install a, a Keras, then bring these data sets. And this is the script that I'm going to run once the container is running. They take a quick look about the main Python. So I'm going to import RunAI HPO library, and then we're going to pick the configuration for this HPO experiment and we pass the options of all hyperparameters that we want to test. This is a, just an example that you can use. Let's go back to the running eye. Let's see about the job life cycle. Okay, so the jobs will be complete when 12 pods will run, each allocated with one GPU as we saw. And at most, there will be three pods running concurrently. Regarding the place that we want to save the results, so I'm using here a PVC and this is the place that I'm going to save the results. And now let's click on the submit button and a new job created. Let's wait a second. Now we can see that we have a new job that creating. We can see here about in the status history. We see that we're pulling the image, we start in the container. We can see here in pods that we have three new pods that running. You can see the GPU that we are using. If we go to the logs, so we can go each one of the containers and see the logs inside the containers. Let's go back to the dashboard. We can see now that we are using three GPU, three containers running in parallel. If we will go to the terminal and see the PVC inside, you can see now that we have the results here now that created, and then we can save them and use them. Thank you very much.